Hello everyone, this is Nathonian. And Casey's Craig. And we're back with some more Imperium Romanum. Yay. Yay. So after failing epically and getting booted in our last game. As we were doing our moves. Yeah. We are in the road to redemption facing off against Don and Macadon again. Yay, rematch. Yay, we got force joined. Yay, let's do the ter- or let's select territories. Yep. Mm. Southern Italy is free again. again. Like always. Such a good bonus. Northern Gaul is interesting, although it's weak against Southern Gaul here. Good for Northern Gaul. Yeah, Southern Gaul. And Sisalpine, if you wanted to do a surprise there. <laughs> Mm, not sure about Northern Gaul. It's that's too many eggs in one basket. <laughs> hmm. Then Illyricum's not as good as it usually is with Macedonia being a wasteland. Yeah. But it's still not bad. Uh, There's the uh, one turn Africa again. That's pretty interesting. Wastelands in Lycia and Galatia make Pontitia and Asia a little weaker. And make Syria a little bit better. Although it is still two full turns. Hmm. Then Spain is all bunched up. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure about that. We could put one down there. We could. I... If we need to, but not high priority, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's a high priority either. Uh, hmm. Not sure about just going one, two, to, uh, southern Italy again. Uh, I do think going number one in Rome is a decent idea, though. We could, like, overlap. Overlapping one in Rome? Yeah, just so that even if they get Cane, then we can at least counter it with Rome. Because that hurt us a little bit last game when they had Rome. Yeah, it did. So if we can overlap Rome, that can help. Hmm. It's a good power position anyways, no matter what. Why don't we try something... There are two one-turn bonuses in Africa and Southern Italy, and Africa is actually a decent one-turn bonus in this. Uh... We could overlap and do one Rome, two Carthage, three Zama, four Cane. And then we could, like, have one work. of us go to one side and the other guy go to the other side. Yeah, as long as we actually get Rome, that can work quite well. One possible bad thing, though, is if they go for Carthage, Africa as well, mm -hmm. then one person can get, like, Carthage and Southern Italy or Zama and Southern Italy... Well, in that uh, case, they, we would have Rome so that we could help that person out by getting to get all of southern Italy. It still wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. Synergy. Yay. Okay, but if we're going to focus in the center so much, mm. then we're going to need to put the rest of the picks more outside. Yeah. Oh, I'm not blue this game. That's annoying. Macadon. <laughs> I'm this stupid purple maroon color what is this color not sure <laughs> all right color. you are dark magenta well you can change macadon to i'm gonna make macadon hot pink this is revenge <laughs> i on the other hand will be blue there we go okay i made that change too okay. <laughs> revenge macadon <laughs> revenge yeah. Okay, I'm thinking three or oh, five into our quarter room. I like. I I think you definitely should, or one of us should focus on countering Northern Gaul uh, with our picks after our first four. If we're gonna overlap like this, one guy on one if side, I focus on Northern one on Gaul, the other. Hmm. And what you're gonna focus around Pon Pontitia or around like Egypt? Or Syria. I was thinking I'm I was thinking doing something like Alexandria and then Palestine to counter Egypt if someone went for that. 
and then Judea in Syria in case someone had Arabia. So basically go mm. five, six, seven, Alexandria, Palestina, Judea. That could work pretty well. That seems decent. It. Uh, I just... Oh, I'm Andrew, not... It's mostly going to be for information to see if they went for Egypt or not. And then Arabia could pose a counter. <laughs> and if you end up losing both, then yeah, you would get Judea. That works pretty well, I think. I mean, in that case, you wouldn't really be able mm. to get Syria as a, for a while. But I would not... The guy in Arabia would never get Arabia, so... That's my thinking there anyway. Now, I could try that, or I could try something Alexandria, then uh, maybe Cyrene. I'm eh, I'm not sure about what to do with okay, Cyrene. Well, if situation like if I get Rome, we lose Carthage, you get, you get Zama and Southern Italy, and then, like, Judea. How the heck could that happen? I don't even know if that's possible. We lose... Yeah, you're right. Well, if they no, like... No. Depend I mean, they w might have to overlap. <laughs> yeah, that's not really going to happen with Alexandria, Judea, I mean, Arabia. Yeah, that'd be a little yeah. weird. Although they could try doing a teammate thing where they uh, had Alexandria as an important pick for one guy and Arabia sure. as an important pick for the other guy. But in that case, they wouldn't take any of our first two picks for each of us in Rome and Carthage. So that wouldn't even be an issue. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, after Dura Quarterum, um, hmm. Narbo or Aquitania in your position, in your opinion? Uh, Probably, Aquitania. Ac yeah, because I can combo that with Dura Quarterum if I get it. Well, and also it's just the best counter for Northern Gaul. Best I mean, counter for Northern Gaul is Dora Cordero. Well, I mean, <laughs> other than the... Co I'm talking about to yeah. counter the combo. Okay. You could go to Avericum first turn, after you get your one turn bonus if you get it, and then Avericum second turn, you could go to Aventicum if you or wanted. Or guess a Greek, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you'd, you'd have your pick. Either way, the bonus is broken. Yeah. Hmm... Seven, maybe in like Salmantica or Beacula in Spain to get a two bonus? Uh, I would honestly just think about picking Casanova and then maybe those. Casanova. Just get the free one mm -hmm. income if you can. Yeah. Yeah, true. If you miss some of these picks, you're likely to be battling someone anyway, so it's nice just to have the one additional income. Except it is a little bit out of the way. Well, it's actually not bad for controlling Spain, from what I can see. All you have to do is go to Olisipio or Hispalis, and you you can threaten both Terraconensis and Betica. Yeah. It's interesting. Okay, Cusanova 7. Now, this does mean we'd be leaving a Hispania bonus open if someone decided to go for that combo. That... Hispania. Uh, I'm not sure that's very viable on this board. I mean, I guess you could, but I do have my six in Aquitania, so I could possibly see a Tarico, unless I lose that. But if I if I lose Aquitania, why would they go for Hispania that when they can go for Southern Gaul? Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. Unless they're gonna triple pick it, I don't think it's worth trying to get it as a bonus. At the start. Hispania? Hispania, yeah. Well, you can get it with just Terraco and Biacula in two turns. Yeah, I know. But if... I am I have Aquitania as my six. If I get that and see him in yeah, Terraco... Yeah, but I, I'm just issue. saying... I'm saying if we don't have any... His teammate could go for Aquitania okay. to, pr to protect him on one side. Well, if they focus that much in that area, then we're going to get two one-turn bonuses and we're, we're just That's win. That's true. That's true. Yeah, well, that would be not necessarily okay. win, we, but giving us an advantage. If we do end up getting both one-turn bonuses, then we're going to have to make sure that whoever's in Carthage goes to Corrales, just in case. That's not a bad idea. I actually like that. 
Alright, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I think five Alexandria, I'll have six in Cyrene, seven Arabia, eight, uh, eight Judea, and then I guess nine Hamimontus. Yeah, I guess. I'm doing eight Narbo. And then I could do something like Trigest and... Or... I'm going to put my nine in uh, Alaria. Alaria? Yeah, actually, no, that's a bad pick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't really like that. We've got enough control in the middle. Yeah, I'll put, I'll just put mine up, my nine in Hamamatis as well. I don't really, I think you should try and make all your later picks on the west side, and I should make all my later picks on the east side. Yeah, but, eh, eh fine. I'm just, there's no other really good picks that are worth it that aren't directly countered by my previous ones. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do Salmantica, but that's not exactly that good of a... And I guess if I get Aquitania Salmantica somehow, which is almost impossible, I think it might be impossible. <laughs> oh, well. It's in Salmantica now. So, not in Salmantica. I think that's not fixed. Okay. Shall we commit? Sure. Just a sec. <laughs> sure. I was just moving my picks around. Uh, let's see. Is 12 good enough? 12, 12 is good enough. fine. I think that's good. That would be if we overlapped all picks, then you would need 12. So actually, I only need 11, don't I? Yeah, probably even 10. I mean, I'm, I have 9 right now. And I've got like a 99% chance of not needing to go at over 9. Well, mix this will find your 10. <laughs> Sizzle pine, yeah. I'll get <laughs> Roman Sizzle Pine in Combo Northern Italy. Wee. <laughs> all right. I like these all I right. I could triple pick a one turn Northern Italy. Hmm. Ooh. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. A one turn Northern Italy. It doesn't have very many prospects after that. Three, I'm not sure three, about three. it. No, it can't be taken well, in one turn, can it? You start well, with four in each spot. Hmm. Three, three, three. You're right. And then yeah, you can't quite get that many. Just need one more guy, and then it could be one turn. Oh, well. Not quite. Dang it. No, my entire <laughs> strategy foiled. No! Uh, okay, I'm going to commit now. All right, I'm going to commit with my 11. Okay, picks. and... Ooh. Okay, we lost Kane. You got Rome. I got 2-3. We lost 4. I got my 5. So we don't know anything more about the West. Hmm. You got 1, and then... What was Cyrene and Hamamatas? We... Oh, my oh, gosh. They've got, a what, 4 in the East? We know about one, two, three, four. Which ones are they? Alexandria, we Palestina, know about Judea, four of their and what picks. else? Uh, Alexandria, Palestina, Judea, and uh, Kenne, of course. Okay, but those are the only three in the east? Yep. Okay. Alexandria, Palestina, and Judea. Huh. Interesting. Well. Well, I guess you're going for Thracia. I'm gonna I guess so. get my one turn bonus. And I think we're gonna have to go with you gifting me something as soon as we get it or do we start with the gift? Yeah, we start with the gift. Huh. Not sure. should I go ahead and gift you Cyrene? I don't want you to lose a spot there completely. So I'm not sure. I mean Right now, you're you're almost well, certainly bordering two separate per people, one in Kanae, one in Alexandria. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm I I should just let you. I guess yeah. Actually, I, I had that wrong. You could take Northern Italy in one turn because you get one more from Rome. Oh yeah. Huh. I forgot huh. about that. I, you I were right. You had anything about that? Dang it! No. We Darn. could have done that. Ah! No, victory would have been ours. <laughs> oh well. Uh, uh, that, that 
It was a fun idea in my head, okay. though. I, I'm thinking of just hitting a Veracum first move of seven from Dora Corderum to check Swordland Gull, and then getting my one turn Africa. Not a bad idea. I'm honestly thinking about just gifting you Cyrene just at the start because I don't have really... I can't use Cyrene. I can't pressure him as much as you can. Yeah. I think that's fine. Uh, you're just going to take Thracia and sit in Rome then? Uh, Might want to put a couple guys in case he decides to put everything in Kanae and attack you. Like, put all your extras in Rome. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure if I should hit Kapua or not. I'd say not yet. Really? Even though I'm going to get a two-turn... I mean, get two from Thracia? Hmm. How many can you put in Rome? You'll need to put three. three in Montes, so three there. You'd be attacking with six. You lose one, you'd have five. Yep. The only way he could take that is if he eight. had eight. Which he could get. Yeah, but the only way he could get eight is if he placed everything there. Yeah. In other words, no taking bonuses. In other words, I'd have an income advantage. But he'd have an army advantage. You'd have well, you'd have eight income. That's enough to overcome a five. Oh yeah, base. Unless he's the one with Alexandria, which would be six base. I, I think we could go for that. Yeah, first move kind of Kapua with six. All right, and then I'll be gifting you Cyrene, and I'm taking him a month or Thracia. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. I am committing with mine. I am committing with mine. Looking good. Hopefully so we, that hopefully we get wow. first move. We know where four of their picks are. Yep. Interesting. They I I would assume they know about Cyrene. I'm assuming At they least. do as well, yeah. And almost certainly Rome. They lost Rome. They probably went that possibly first pick as well. Oh yeah. I we think that's pretty that. likely. But as long as and only one of them did it. Possibility as well that they know about, so that's why I'm trying to pressure Aquitania first move. I know, I like that move. I like it. Okay. Well. Hopefully he's not in uh, Illyria. If he's in Illyria, true. he could pressure you right at the start, and then this gift would be a bad move. Oh, well. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when turn advances. Indeed. And turn has advanced. Indeed. Let's watch. Watching. We have deployments and a <laughs> gift. Yes. Cyrene is mine now. I claim it in the name of Methonian. We know Dawn is in Kene. It does not appear he moved anywhere because you did get first move out of us two, so... Probably didn't do anything with that. You will be... Oh. He uh, had Bithynia, so now... Interesting. He's got a double border on you. Interesting. So that's one more starter there, as we know. And there is Macadon going to Necrotus with five. Okay. So we know that Dawn... Okay. Let's see. Dawn... We know two of Don's locations for sure. We know Don must be in either Palestine or Judea. Yeah, Macedon was in Alexandria and certainly has one of the other two. Don and Don must have one probably of those. has one of them. I don't. Well, with your. You had your one, and then your immediate next one would have. All your next three were, were blocked by them. Well, or next four, actually, because. I probably got number one overall. Yeah. And yeah, then they got, got right. they probably got two, three after that. Mm -hmm. And that was probably in Alexandria and I guess Palestine or something. And then you would get four five in Carthage and Zama. Then they would get the next two, which would be in Judea and I'm assuming some Alexandria, other location. Probably. Uh, oh yeah, we I forgot about Kane. Uh, yeah, Kane and Alexandria were there. Oh, oh, two, three. Yeah, 
Don may have done a one two Rome Cane with Macedon going like Alexandria or something. Either way, I think that they got those four and then since I would get my first pick first in the order, I would get my second pick last in the order, and I would get my first pick immediately after that, first in the order. Yeah. So, so I would get you got Cyrene, Cyrene and Hamamontus immediately after that. And because yeah. of that, it means that the, these must be their... Cana, Alexandria, Palestina, and Judea must have been their first four in that situation. Yeah. Or, like, they had Carthage, but I got it before they did, so... They just got their next ones, but possibly, so yeah. yeah. Their next, they their first four that they actually got were Cana, Alexandria, exactly, Palestina, Judea, exactly. So, so we know about all, all of those, and one of the, yeah, mm. Palestina or Judea. Don has one of those. Don hit with six in Byzantium, so that means he deployed two elsewhere. Two. So if he was in Arabia, he would have had to... T- if he was going to get Arabia, he'd have to get help from his teammate in Judea if he wanted to take it all. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I, I think it's m- probably more likely that he had Judea and he took like, yeah, Mesopotamia or something. That does make more sense, considering things. Cause so he's got absolute it, crap picks, I, Yeah, I think if he had Arabia, then it would have been better just for him to hit 3-3 three, three and then just put one less attacking Byzantium. That does, that does make his move to Byzantium make a little more sense. I think. Well, wait, two. Why would you deploy two in Judea then? Hmm. I don't understand. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Why would you place two in I'm Judea? Not sure. It doesn't really make a whole lot. He placed enough to take by. I think he might actually be in Arabia because of this. You're right. He his teammate could have hit Petra with one, then he hit that with two, and then three down there. So that means he could have still had enough to hit Byzantium with six, like he did. Yep. I mean, otherwise okay. it doesn't yeah, make sense right. to hit with six like that, mm-hmm. unless you're not in. Judea, because if you were in Judea, you'd either hit with 3-3 three, three, or 3. Yeah. And you would hit with everything in Byzantium in that case. Okay. And then Macedon, he's got Alexandria, Syria, and then one somewhere else that we're not sure of, like possibly Cusanova. Possibly Cusanova or Terraconensis. Yeah. Uh so he deployed, he hit Nacrash with five. Narbo is also a possibility. Yeah, Narbo. So he, well, he hit uh, Nacrash with five. So he had Alexander, so that means he has six, he had six base income, even if he didn't have Cusanova. So if he had put two to hit Nacrash, that's four else that he could have placed. So if he did hit Petra with one, and then he put four or more in Judea, then he would have been able to get two territories in Syria. Mm. So that's a possibility. If he had Narvo instead, then he would have taken Massilia, obviously, and still could have done gotten two at Syria. Hmm. He had Terraconensis, then he would have put the guy the four or three of the guys over there and finished off Terraconensis. So I think what we should expect here is that Don has seven income. Uh if he Let's see. I can only take up to six guys in Byzantium. You're going to hit Byzantium? Uh, if I'm... Possibly. I'm considering things. Kane, if he uh, places... I can take up to how much? If I attack, it would be with 12. 12. So I'd be able to take up to seven guys. Hmm. Hmm. So he would only need to deploy four here, and then he would be yeah. able to deploy three in Byzantium. Although, if he runs into me, that's a different story. I don't think it's likely that he would attack Kapua, because he, at the moment, he no. just he probably just finished Arabia. So he might, I think he's going to slowly be working on Pontitia, trying to hold Byzantium. And obviously hold Kanae as well. He doesn't want to be eliminated there. So you but, think... 
attacking Byzantium's a uh, bad move then? Because I think it's a good strategic move. Well, if he's trying to take Pontitia and at the same time hold Byzantium, then he's prioritizing Yeah, that. but he doesn't want to be eliminated from Kanae, because if he's eliminated from Kanae, then we lock them into the east. Yeah, well, for the mo- except for that other pick of Macedon's. Possibly Cusanova, yeah. Narbo, or Turkins, wherever that ends up being. I'm going to take all of Southern Gaul and then, I guess, put everything else in Cyrene. So he definitely... I can have two in there. He, yeah, you're right. He doesn't want to lose Kanae. That's very true, but ha, Byzantium. I I really want to do that move. I really want to do it. I think that he's likely to put a few guys in Kane because he sees you've got more. You've got five a five stack there, compared to only two in Rodope. So he's more more likely to put a few in Kane than he is to put a few in Byzantium. So you said how many can you kill? In Byzantium, mm-hmm. how much? I can kill uh, six guys total. Six. Unless he yeah. runs into Especially me, then I if can he, kill. if he puts guys to get one territory in Pontitia, then mm-hmm. you're pretty much guaranteed to kill him. If not, knock him down to one and kill him next turn, because he won't get any more income. Now, I could do something where I attack Kane with two as a later move in case well he should know he can defend that i think hitting with one might be the best not yeah. that much All right, yeah i'd say hit with one. one and then should i sit with the rest yeah sit. All right. if you can't eliminate him from byzantium then immediately you will have a chance to eliminate him from Kane because he's going to try everything to not be eliminated from bithynia if that does happen Okay. Alright, I like this alright. I've only got four moves, but last move is hitting Byzantium with eight. We have a gift and two blockades. Do we want to use any of it? Probably not. Uh, do you want to gift me anything? Uh, hmm. Or should we wait till next turn to do that? Well, we don't know where Macadon's other pick is. If it's in Narbo, then definitely not. If it's in Terra Condensis, I'd still say definitely not. True. Okay, so we'll wait until the next turn. At least, yeah. Mm-hmm. Depending upon what happens in southern Italy, I can move to Syracuse from Cyrene next turn to help you out there. Oh, yeah. You can take all of Sicily in one turn. I can. Mm-hmm. I can also do it with Tripoli. <laughs> oh, man. But oh, man. Uh, mm, I think these are about the best we can do at this point. Do you he think is... four moves is enough to take Byzantium? Or do you think I should yeah, move yeah, one probably. back to Rome? I mean, if he's got leftovers in Arabia, he's just going to be like hitting Pelusium with one to help his team get that or something, or maybe taking it over and then transferring his guys up to Judea. Um, well, I'm considering so something... Move there, so I don't think he's going to have another three moves. Uh, yeah. I was considering moving one back to Rome. Hmm. Uh, you, you could, yeah. Just make that the lo- the slowest move. It's one the of the slowest. Move. Yeah. It's the third move. Fourth is hitting from Rodope, and then fifth is hitting from Haymamontis. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I think this is all right. Let's go with that. Okay, I am committing. I've already committed. Let's go. Watching. Watching.